So if you decide to stop working at 50 and you started working at 20, that's only 30 years of working history. You've got plenty of time to get your social security credits, but what happens to your social security check between age 50 and 62 or 50 and 67? Maybe you retire at 55. Again, you might have 30 years of working history or 35 years of working history, but what happens to those extra years you don't work? Especially if you had low earning years at the beginning, like myself, I worked at a golf course in college in the early 2000s. And so my earnings history at the beginning of my working career is very low compared to now in my 30s going into my 40s when most individuals get to their peak earning years in their 40s and 50s. So you have to ask yourself what happens to my social security check if I retire early. Here's what's happened. Social security takes a zero and they stick it in for every year you don't work. Let's go back to the calculation real quick. Remember, social security takes your best 35 earning years. They divide that by 35 and they divide that by 12. So if you only have 30 working years, they take five zeros, add that to the 30. So now you've got 30 years of your working history, five years of zeros. They divide that number by 35 and then they divide that by 12 to get your average monthly earnings. And then using bin points, they come up with your social security check. Again, Russell Crowe, a beautiful mind. So let me give you an example, because this is not terrible. Remember, you can retire at 50. You can retire at 55. I've got plenty of videos on this channel. Go back to the catalog. Look for, can I retire at 55? Can I retire at 58? Can I retire at 50? You can retire early and not have as much social security as somebody who might work to 60 or 65. That's okay. It's all determined by your retirement income plan and the strategies that are surrounding that retirement income plan. So let me give you an example of someone who works for 30 years and someone who works 35 years. And let me show you the difference in the social security and why it could be a big deal and why it might not be a big deal depending on your situation. So the first example, we've got a 30 year worker. They make $50,000 a year. So for 30 years, they're gonna make $50,000 per year. So no inflation adjustments, no salary increases, no changing jobs, no bonuses. Just a simple 30 years of $50,000. Their social security using the calculation at 67 would be $1,388. Okay, so 30 years, $50,000, social security at 67 based on today's values would be $1,388. Now let's think about a 35 year worker. Same example, $50,000 a year working for 35 years their social security at 67 would be $1,593. That's a difference of $205 per month or approximately $2,400 a year. So is that $2,400 a year a big deal? It depends on your retirement situation. It depends on your retirement income plan. So it's very important if you're thinking about retiring early to understand is social security going to be a primary income source for me in retirement? Or do I have other retirement assets that are gonna help me get to retirement, get through retirement and protect my ability to stay in retirement. Listen, hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped. God bless. Bye-bye.